In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. John, chapter 7, verses 43, through to chapter 8, verse 2. So there was a division among the people because of him. Now some of them wanted to take him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the officers came to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who said to them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to them, Does our Lord judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has risen out of Galilee. And everyone went to his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. We are now in Holy Week, and the readings are all leading up to that great day. Jesus is still teaching in the temple. Chief priests and the Pharisees are still trying to get hold of Jesus. When the officers of the temple came to the chief priests and the Pharisees. They asked, Why haven't you brought him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The teachings of Jesus no one has ever heard before. They all marveled. But of course, they said the crowd does not know the law is accursed because they follow Jesus, they believe in him. And then during the debate, Nicodemus, he used to come to Jesus at night, being one of them, said to them, Does our Lord judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? Of course, the reply was, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. The plotting continued. They returned to their own houses. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives to pray, to be quiet. Then early in the morning, he came back to the temple and sat down, and he taught the people who gathered again around him, listening very closely, listening to every word that proceeded out of his mouth. During this week, this special holy week, we are taking the journey with Christ to Calvary then waiting for Sunday for the glorious resurrection a glorious light that shines all over the world on that day it is a time to remember to contemplate 
This is very hard. Thanks to this coronavirus that is spread around the world. Everything is just full about the news of that. Of how many people are dying. How many people are sick. The world is consumed with it. So what happens to Easter, to the resurrection of Christ? It's put on the back burner. The churches have closed their doors because of the fear of spreading this infection. Thank God many of the churches are doing live telecasts. Even my own church is doing the same thing. At least trying to help the people understand what it is all about. This glorious Holy Week, great and holy week. It is a time we must read the scriptures, follow Christ during this week. You have plenty of time. Many, many people are in isolation who are encouraged not to go out, not to leave their homes. So instead of watching television and watching the news bulletins or doing silly things, it is time to read the scriptures, to pick up the book and read it. Read about the passion that Jesus is about to go through. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you during these difficult days. Pray for those who are sick. Pray for those who are dying and have died. That the world will wake up to what is happening. How the love of God has been neglected by the world. The sinful world we live in. We need to get down on our knees and ask God to forgive us for all those shortcomings of our lives, for all those times that we have turned our back on Him. It's time for us to kneel at the foot of the cross. And beg God to forgive you, to forgive us our many sins. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain always with you. Amen.